Hello guys, happy Sinner Alice anniversary. So, welcome back, another Sinner Alice video today, and there's a lot to cover from the first anniversary. So let's jump right into the notice. So first of all, what I'll go through are just how many Twilight Crystals you can get. So you can get a whopping 3,000 Twilight Crystals. So yesterday you should have already got the Sinner Alice times reward so that was from the stream that's 500 twilight crystals that i claimed out already yesterday we then also have this loser's grimoire which will give you up to a 900 twilight crystals so you can see each step will give you twilight crystals all the way up to step six so if we all gather to 3.5 million a rank weapons we'll get two sr guaranteed tickets along with 900 twilight crystals so that is awesome we then also have the login bonus as well so each day you log in you'll get 50 twilight crystals so for 10 days in a row 500 twilight crystals if i go into presents then let me just filter on let's do twilight crystals and you'll see we get a 300 twilight crystal gift as well so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and claim that. Next, we have these anniversary missions as well. So first one there is for clearing this Lamy event. So once you clear first 10, then you'll get this 100 Twilight Crystals. You then also have this summon from the free daily grimoire, 40 twilight crystals as well. Uh, you'll get that for doing that five times, so you get another 200 twilight crystals from that. So that's your 300 first anniversary mission twilight crystal. What you'll also get is we're going to middle this change. These first anniversary medals, you should have 20 now if you've been logging in every day. So let's go ahead, let's change that for the 300 Twilight Crystals. And then, what else? The terrifying first anniversary tale. This gave 20 Twilight Crystals for the first eight verses, and then 20, sorry, 40 Twilight Crystals for the first nine. So that's another 200 Twilight Crystals. So yeah, that got that gets you 3,000 Twilight Crystals, assuming we manage to do the daily free news of Grimoire and you log in as well. Um, I think you may also get some Twilight Crystals for clearing the Another Alice. Yep, looks like you do. So it looks like you get four Twilight Crystals each time. So given there are 10 stages, that means we actually got another 40 Twilight Crystals plus 5 for the EX stage. So just jumping into this one quickly. This is where they've brought in the Spirit Classes now. So what the Spirit Classes are, they are boosts to only a specific weapon of a specific element. So here you can see this free one gives you 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100% bonus to fire blades and then just minus 75 percent to water and wind weapons so yeah this is pretty cool i love the art for the um, spirit classes especially the half nightmare one so this alice proud lion half nightmare looks pretty cool um what you'd also get from that is you'll get this free weapon as well skill ones is not amazing you know you you can't expect to get like a 3 DC2 weapon level 4 skill or anything like that, but it's got the story mode skill depending on how many fire weapons you've got. Um, it will boost it further, and then on the EX stage it's farmable, so you do it 20 times, you get the Arcana, and you also get four um, of the same weapon to effectively limit break with. So, moving on to the next bit, we've got this new feature, so if I just go into a gear set, You'll now see we've got these support classes as well, so um, let me actually limit break. Actually no, I haven't gamed it yet, so if I go back to item box, let's claim the stuff. So 
skipped over a bit too quickly, but we also got a limit break for Paladin level 2 for free as well. So you can see it's got a new support skill, magic damage plus 1.5% for Golem Glasses. So let's go ahead and equip that. And you'll see in the new banners, the classes that are there will give you some cool support skills as well. So oh, I've not actually leveled her up, so I'm not actually going to get the support skill, but I can do that later. So yeah, let's move on to the Grimoire now, actually. So I've got my daily free Grimoire times 11, so we'll be able to do this for um, three plus 11, so two weeks of this, so that's pretty cool, two, 14 rolls of 11, so should hopefully get quite a few Grimoires, do that in a bit, and then you've got this step banner, so if I go into Grimoire details, again you've got this spirit class, so this one specifically fo focuses on wind projectiles, so you can see you get 30, 55, 70, 80, 80 plus 30, so 110, and then you can see you get some support uh, stats as well, so a lovely 800 to magic attack, and then another 400 for magic defense as well. And then you've got the base stats as well, so you've got 200 plus 600, so 800, so in effect, this class would give you um, 2400 stats, so that is pretty amazing. Obviously, you can only, only equip six of these, though, so so yeah, um, that's I guess where it's balanced. You can't just equip so, that many of them, whereas normal classes, obviously, you can just keep going. And then here, this one's physical defense and physical attack for the tome class, and then these weapons you can see there, kind of unique, so decent skill there. Staff isn't so good because it's not guaranteed two targets, and then the gun isn't that good as well. No DC2 and only a level 3 skill. I go to the other one. This banner here. Level 3 skill, no DC2. Uh, this one's decent though physical attack and defense and support boom 2. Two targets. And then this gun here again, no level 4 skill or DC. Too, mainly rolling for the class. I'm tempted to roll for the class for the stats, but even with all these free Twilight Crystals, that's probably not what I'm going to do. Uh, they've then also got these first anniversary, first anniversary guaranteed 2SR banners as well, with double appearance rates, so 6% for SRs as opposed to your usual 3%. Um, it's not only classes though, so you can get weapons as well. So you can roll on that three times as well. You've got one for the vanguard and then one for the rear guard. Um, if I go back to notice, so we've gone over these two step banners, we've gone over support class skills, gone over the goodies, glue. This is grimoire. We've gone over the first anniversary grimoires with the SR2 rates. Uh, Guild Box of Grimoire is coming up again, so that's your Blood Event, 180 Twilight Crystals. We've also got this cool first anniversary Lamy. Uh, it's a paid nightmare, so I don't normally cover this these, but it is Defiant Rule 3 as well, so you'll probably see a few of those to replace uh, the usual Mao and uh, what the other, what's the other one, Barbarian. Um, few more things as well. So we've covered the Another Alice event, covered the Lamy event. Uh, we've got a few Arcanas in the shop as well, so these will basically will give you sort of class specific 1.5% uh, boost support skills and cost plus 2 if I remember correctly. Uh, you've also got first anniversary and uh, item set as well as a July featured grimoire and then you've got a few giveaways so let's quickly just jump into mid at the strange so following on from classes that I just mentioned so you'll be able to see all of these level two classes are now in here oh, oh, 
that one. Yeah, these ones cost plus two, and then class specific support skills. Pretty cool stuff. And then if you do want to buy the first hand of the first sweet item set, you can find that under here items. Personally, I don't think it's worth spending 300 Twilight Crystals just for a few of these items, but that's just me. Um, what else have they added? So they've also added 1.5 times to purification. Uh, that will last until the 12th of July as well, so pretty cool. And then it's half AP for basically all of the um, like evolution materials and guerrilla events as well. So given that I don't actually have many upgrade swords, you can see very limited supply, 133 S and 142As. I'll definitely be farming that once I've uh, farmed enough of the near collab event. Obviously the shooting tickets are the best events that I'm going to be farming. That for the next seven days, um, I've just about finished the Incarnation of Envy, so all the rewards from that. Go to level 2 Arcana, make sure you do that as well before it ends. Um, so that's basically it for now, but there are a few more things underway, so they've announced that we're going to get the Hamlin uh, class, so hopefully we'll get some more story and then therefore more Twilight Crystals from that as well. And they've also increased the rank cap as well, so from 210 to 220, that probably won't matter for me for a while. And then one more thing, they've also got the international class number two banner coming up hopefully it's a step banner as well so that we'll get a guaranteed class um i think spoiler alert one of the classes will be a healer red riding hood so that'll be cool because as far as i know uh, there aren't that many red riding hood healer classes apart from the paid ones so it's cool that they're adding one um that's the one with braids for was dorothy at first but then people realized it didn't really look like Dorothy, especially like height wise and then there was actually a sort of like leak but I'm not sure who the one with the parasol or umbrella whatever you call it is so uh, be interesting to find out so yeah um oh and grand color the next grand color tough grand color they'll be adding the little mermaid half nightmare level two arcana for the first win and then Gretel half nightmare arcana level two for the third win as well as the cinderella half nightmare and cinderella half nightmare arcana to the grand medal shop so yeah lots of stuff coming okay well this is dragon on try to be as quick and concise as i could but yeah a lot of stuff covered yeah, that about does it for this one. I need to head off to sleep, but before that I'll quickly do some rolls with newly gained Twilight Crystals. And for now, I will end it there. Thanks all for watching. Leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.